अलकुम मेरा नाम अदीहा बेग है आई एम अ बी कीपर मैंने दो कोर्सेज बी कीपिंग के किए हैं एक कॉर्नेल यूनिवर्सिटी के स्मॉल फार्म्स प्रोग्राम से किया है um, मैं एट दिस मोमेंट एच एस एन कॉलेज में बी uh, कीपर भी हूँ उनकी मक्खियों का ख्याल कर रही हूँ um, और मैं बी वेनम से प्रोडक्ट्स बनाती हूँ और लोगों को बी स्टिंग्स भी देती हूँ um, और जो बंदा बी स्टिंग्स देता है उसको ए थेरेपिस्ट बोलते हैं तो आई एम एन ए पी थेरेपिस्ट इज़ वेल एज़ अ बी कीपर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू बी शेयरिंग के ए पी थेरेपी क्या है और आपको ए पी थेरेपी से किस तरह फ़ायदा हो सकता है ठीक है ए पी का मतलब ए पी इज शॉर्ट फॉर एपिस विच इज़ द लैटन वर्ड फॉर बी ठीक है एंड ए पी थेरेपी मीन्स बी थेरेपी ठीक है आर यू नेक्स्ट सो दे आर मैनी प्रोडक्ट्स दैट यू कैन गेट फ्राम अ बी ठीक है दैट हैव हीलिंग प्रॉपर्टीज इट्स नॉट जस्ट हनी हनी तो फॉर श्योर दिस अलमिया सैड इन द कुरान के मैंने बी के पेट में से एक लिक्विड है जो हीलिंग प्रॉपर्टीज़ है लेकिन द देर आर मैनी थिंग्स दैट यू कैन यूज़ फॉर हीलिंग पर्पसेज इंक्लूडिंग बी पॉलिन रॉयल जेली प्रॉपलिस बी वेनम एंड बीज वैक्स ठीक है पॉलिन आप समझते होंगे इट्स द स्टफ दैट द बीज गेट फ्राम द फ्लावर्स ठीक है एंड दिस अ केमिकल प्रोसेस दैट हैपन्स इन द बीस दैट चेंज इज द पॉलन अ लिटल बिट एंड इट टर्नज इन टू बी ब्रेड दैट्स फाउंड इन साइड द हाइव ठीक है दैट्स द फूड दैट द बी के लारवा द बेबीज गेट ठीक है रॉयल जेली इज ऑल्सो अन अदर फूड दैट दे मेक फॉर द लारवा क्वीन इज ओनली मेड इफ शी इज फेड इफ अग टू adult stage is only fed royal jelly um the other bees they get a mixture of royal jelly and uh, pollen to wo phir normal bees banti hain uh, propolis is like a um, like a gluey substance that also comes out of their bodies and it's kind of um, a really strong antibacterial antimicrobial substance and jis hive mein propolis zyada hota hai unko bimariyan kam hoti hain so this is a really healthy sign and isse दवाइयाँ भी बनती हैं बी वेनम बी वेनम पे हम ज़्यादा बात करेंगे बिकॉज दैट समथिंग दैट आई एम रियली इंटरेस्टेड इन एंड देन बीज वैक्स देर सम ऑइंटमेंट्स दैट आई मेक जिसमें मैं बीज वैक्स ऐड करती हूँ एक्जमा की ऑइंटमेंट बनाती हूँ सोराइसिस की बनाती हूँ उसमें बीज वैक्स ऐड करती हूँ इट्स वेरी हीलिंग फॉर द स्किन ऑल्सो एंड पीपल हु हैव एजमा कैन ऑल्सो उनके बीज वैक्स का कैंडल यूज़ करें तो इट्स एक्चुअली बेनिफिशल एंड वेर एज अ रेगुलर कैंडल इज नॉट नेक्स्ट आर ठीक है सो वे वेरी आई थिंक एवरी वन अवेयर दैट अलमिया हैज सेड इन द कुरान दैट देर इज अ लिक्विड दैट कम्स आउट ऑफ अ बीस बेली दैट इज हीलिंग फॉर पीपल सो देर इज नो डाउट इन आर माइंड एज मुस्लिम्स के द हनी इज एक्सट्रीमली बेनिफिशल टू अस कोई ऐसी चीज़ नहीं होगी जो हील नहीं होती बिकॉज अलमिया हैज एन एक्सक्लूडेड एनी थिंग फ्राम दिस सेंटेंस आर नेक्स्ट but i wanted to also tell you there are couple of things that are more like miraculous and mentioned in the quran that when you hear about it is just stunning because just men, like just a couple of hundred years ago even in like the western world people used to think that the there's no queen it's like they used to assume ke wo queen bhi nahi hai king bhi hai and that the bees are mostly probably males because they're so hard working so that was the assumption but alamia in the quran has used the female term jaise hamara urdu mein hai ke you know ek uh, kursi is a feminine to alamia has used um, a feminine word to describe the bee so way back 1400 years ago when everybody assumed that the bees were all male or masculine or at least the king was a king ठीक है तो बैक देन अलमिया हैज़ रिफर टू देम एज फीमेल एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द हाइव दर इज अ वेरी स्मॉल परसेंटेज ऑफ द हाइव जो ड्रोन बी का है एंड द ड्रोन डज नथिंग ड्रोन इज द मेल बी एंड द द फीमेल वर्कर बीज ऑल द हार्ड वर्किंग ऑल द ऑल द वर्क दैट द बीज आर डूइंग द ऑल इट्स ऑल डन बाई द फीमेल बी एंड द क्वीन इज ऑल शी डज इज लेज एग्स ठीक है एंड नदर थिंग that is really cool that 1400 years ago nobody knew is that the bees have two stomachs 
and Alamia in the Quran has used a plural for their stomach say liquid nikal rahe. Okay, so there was there is actually two stomachs that the bees have. So one is for storage and one is for eating. So Aru next. So we'll talk about honey a little bit before we. Um, I'll I'll go through most of them, and then we'll go ma uh, go into venom. But manuka is I think everyone's heard of manuka. Manuka New Zealand or Australia se aata hai. Uspe massive amounts of research hai. And it has a lot of wound healing uh, capacity. One of the things is that uh, Ariana, my daughter, her thumb got smashed in the car door and nail bed sara kharab ho gaya tha. The doctor was like taking out this liquid from it. It was a black giant mess. So I told her that she surgery. We had uh, antibiotic creams. It was not working. And jab mujhe bola na ki surgery honi hai, to maine bola sorry, abhi ye. I have to try my stuff first. So one of the things I did was right away maine manuka lagana shuru kiya. And three days mein itni healing hui, jo abhi last three four weeks mein nahi hui thi. So it like drastically changed. And if you want to check out her thumb later, it is absolutely normal now. Koi pata hi nahi chalta that it was smashed in a door. And that's all thanks to manuka. Or maine kuch nahi kiya. Okay. So, uh, manuka is also really good for um, the gut. Okay. Manuka is really good for the throat. It's good for multiple things. But wound healing, mein, burns ka healing, mein, this is like number one. I wonder where manuka is coming from. So, Pakistan manuka is... So, there's a... No, Pakistan is not made because there's a special uh, tree. And I think it's related to the tea tree, which you have tea tree oil. Suna hoga. Hai, it's related to that. And wo, uh, the bees... You can only consider it manuka if the bees have been to those flowers. And wo flowers freely waha hote hain ya nahi hote hain. Only tea tree. Yes. That's very correct. Agar aapko jaysay yaha throw allergies, khansi zukam ho rahe, you want ke lahore ka honey aapko mila if you want to cure that. Aapko local phir pollen mil raha hota hai, to aapko phir sneezing, coughing, wo sari cheeze hain, phir wo khatam ho jati hain. So local honey is really amazing for local allergies and illnesses. Aru next. So another thing that um, is really good for us is also pollen. Okay, pollen may it's a lot of protein and um, they're using it to feed their larva, but it has massive health benefits. Immunity ko strong karti hai. Aapko, um, um, mostly it's like used as a taqat ki dawa, you know, like if you're sluggish and fatiguish, so you want to go and try some, have some pollen. And you want to mix it with some honey or you want to sprinkle it in your cereal in the morning. Aru, next. And I've also read that it's uh, used for the things which are causing you allergies. They said that the but you want to have local pollen at that point. Only local. Huh. You don't want to then go buy it abroad and then. So huh. Yeah. So that's why, yeah, yes. So you want the local honey for suffering from the hay fever. Because you have to local, it's like a little, um, yeah. Uh -huh, uh, so what you do is you make sure you're buying unfiltered honey. And what you do is you hold it to a light. And if, if you can see very clearly through it, that means it doesn't have any pollen. If it's cloudy, and up the other side, if you have any things that you don't have to look at it, it's easy So that means it's full of pollen. So you want to have unfiltered. Pollen with the honey, you don't eat it separately. Haan, that's enough. Like, powder, haan. You, you can buy powder, but usually you don't get the area of powder. Nahi milega. So, um, bee venom. Pe aate hain. Bee venom has a lot of different substances in it. And melatonin is one of the main things that is an anti-inflammatory agent jo when it goes into your body it kind of uh, makes your body produce its own steroids and aapke naturally jo uh, joint mein dard thi pain thi inflammation thi wo swelling wo reduce ho jati hai um, and they're trying to study all these many many ingredients theek hai but they've only like there are a lot of them but they 
they haven't studied it well enough to tell you that this is what happens. There are only a few of them. Like I don't know why they haven't really gotten into studying all the substances in bee venom. And um, if you yam and elikava hai, it's 100 times stronger than cortisone. ठीक है. Um, inflammation and pain blocking का भी एक substance है called uh, called al aldolfin. Um, ingredients work together uh, to make your natural healing process happen. ठीक है. B venom का एक ये story है कि my mother had joint pain so bad कि um, she couldn't lift a teacup and uh, she was too afraid to get stings from me at that point. अब कर लेती हैं. तो I added B venom to uh, an oil and three days later her pain had vanished so she forgot to reapply and she was holding her cup normally. So and it was just three days and my mind was blown at that time and then I started actually making the B venom oil for other people. Next. ठीक है. Um, so B venom पे they're doing a lot of different research in the fact that they are doing breast cancer. Pe kar rahe hai. Um, I'm, I've kind of taken screenshots of the different researches so that you kind of, it's not like me saying it. Hai. There, there's actual research that uh, the biomolecular components of honeybee venom as a cancer uh, anti-cancer agent remains why it is anti-cancer uh, remains and uh, largely unknown but the fact that it's helping is right there Aru next so even BBC reported that bee venom is killing some really aggressive breast cancer cells okay um, Ha, no matter what stage you're in, but up to two, stage two is easily reversible. After stage four, ke baad it's a little bit harder. Hai? But um, there was this lady who came to me who had a cancer uh, in her like belly area, and unka stage four tha. The doctors had given her like two months to live, and um, her daughter brought her to me, and I started stinging her directly next to that uh, cancer, and unke pet me pani bhar jata tha. जो उन्होंने every other day जा रही थी वो पानी remove करने um, and उसकी जगह it had turned to every two weeks so every other day say every two weeks she was going to the hospital to get that पानी removed and she ended up living two years longer than that just one or two months that the doctors had given her so is it good for all cancers so so I would recommend if it's some like I would recommend direct bee stings for that. So agar if it's like an outward or somewhere you can kind of see the mass, then it's up directly usko sting karte hain. Agar aap nahi usko kar sakte, then you just sting cl as close as possible. Next. T. Bee venom. So I, ha, I, if someone comes to me, I can, uh, I, I have bees, a box at home, and I bee nikal ke sting kar leti hoon logon ko. Sting as? Ha, I have tweezers. Lambe se tweezers hai. Main aage bee hive ke baithti hoon, aise ek pakar leti hoon, aur jisko, ha, jisko sting karna hota hai, usko mutabik us kar leti hoon. Usually, I get my, I sting myself a lot. If I haven't had it. Sometimes you know at work, like in spring, बहुत सारा bees के साथ काम हो रहा था तो मेरे stings होते रहते हैं. But अगर बहुत अरसा हो जाए नहीं हुआ हो तो I'll just take a bee and I'll sting myself right here because it's easier my right hand and my left arm. So, so हाँ शुरू में you know you get a little bit of swelling. शुरू में मेरी ज़्यादा swelling होती थी. Two weeks तक वो swollen ही रहता था. It was warm to the touch and kind of itchy. अब it just you know lasts maybe a day or so. So, yeah, over time you do like, uh, but wo immune, like my mother, for example, she gets bee stings and 10 minutes later, it's like she didn't get anything. Like it's completely normal, no, but it yeah, it still works. But um, um, I, I have heard like people talking about this in a way that if your reaction is much stronger, that means your immunity is actually better. 
is ha huh, it's like in full mode trying to get those toxins out so it's a sign of a healthy immune system okay you've got a nice giant swollen spot but you know there, there fever, you know, with so um if you ha huh, if you're getting something long term uh if you're getting bee stings long term so there's something called a healing crisis and um natural remedies may this is like a common known thing ke aap you you seem to getting better better aur phir ek healing crisis aata hai where you aapko bukhar hota hai uh, you feel bad and then when that fever breaks after that you get exponentially better so if you're doing it for cancer or ms or something like that where you're getting multiple stings i mean very frequently then um it's that healing crisis will come and it's not just cancer um vitiligo ke patients bhi uh, if you get bee stings or if you put bee venom oil um ye it kind of regenerates the ha huh, the pigment in your skin and so it's still available in the market venom oil no i i think as far as i know i'm not the only one who makes it okay. what सो बहुत ज़्यादा भी फैलाओ तो वो डेंड्राइट्स की तरह ना आपका वो जहाँ है आपका पिगमेंट वो वहाँ से प्रोलिफ्रेट करके इट स्टार्ट स्प्रेडिंग या स्टार्ट स्प्रेडिंग इसका कोई हाँ नहीं है और एम का भी कोई नहीं है कहते हैं बट एम एस एम एस का एम एस के लोग दिस एन एक्चुअली रियली गुड स्टोरी दैट आई रेड दे वॉज अ लेडी इन कैलिफोर्निया जो एम एस से व्हील चेयर बाउंड हो चुकी थी से खाना भी मुश्किल हो गया था एंड शी वॉज इन दिस स्पेस जहाँ शी इज बिंग टेकन केयर बाई यू नो इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड दर इज अ नर्स हु इज वॉकिंग हर इन दिस ब्यूटिफुल कैलिफोर्निया का गार्डन एंड शी गॉट दे गॉट अटैक बाई बीज एंड नर्स उसको छोड़ के भाग गई and she got covered in stings and she was in a really bad shape and bukhar and you know all kinds of things and when the the bees left they came and got her and she said you know i rather just die just leave me in my room and let me just you know so they did they left her there without treatment and um as she started recovering from the bee stings she noticed that she was getting parts of her uh, feeling back and eventually ha huh, and eventually she was uh, out of her wheelchair it took a few months but wo uh, i mean you don't want to just suddenly go through all of that at once ha huh. so yeah so um no no it, it works it for sure Yeah yeah so it is just a matter of just it'll take a slow long time obviously we don't want to sting her all at once it'll be a slow you know we'll do one sting then the next time we'll do two stings and wo aista aista wo badhate badhate when uska ek immunity aur wo cheeze us handle bhi kar sakegi to phir hum yeah yeah she, it does that's ha huh, that's independent theek hai next so this is an actual picture from one of my um clients theek hai and this is only 6 weeks apart um usko alopecia ho uh, uske bachcho ke alopecia hua hua tha aise aise gol 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 spots ho jate hain bilkul bald spots ho jate hain ye koi 2 3 saal ki bachchi hai isko hue hue the ha and um she was using my bee venom ointment theek hai and just 6 weeks later theek hai it was like her hair was like she couldn't tell ke wahan bald spot hai um so they have done studies on it and um there is some um mechanism in which the uh the regrowth starts happening when you apply apply bee venom theek hai um and there's this hormone that you know as men are aging and stuff unka hormones change hote hain तो वो भी उसका जीन एक्सप्रेशन जो है वो शिफ्ट हो सकता है तो इट्स नॉट जस्ट फॉर पीपल विद इलनेसेस इट्स आल्सो जो एक नॉर्मल हार्मोनल बॉल्डिंग है उसको भी रिवर्स कर सकता है नेक्स्ट अच्छा सो बी वेनम एंड कोविड की एक स्टडी है जो देवर बी कीपर 
Association in China went to Wuhan right after the first wave of COVID. And they went and interviewed every beekeeper and they went and interviewed every AP therapist and every patient of theirs. And Wuhan coffee green, hara bhara, and is quite a beekeeping community. And once they they interviewed all of them, not a single beekeeper got COVID, not a single AP therapist, and not a single patient of theirs. And I myself because I'm stung a lot. I did not get COVID. Um, and I had someone in my house coughing directly on me as I cared for them. And um, with full blown bad COVID, it wasn't even mild. And I did not get it. I was maskless, sleeping in the same room. And uh, so it works. <laughs> And I, I even tested myself, okay, maybe it's I'm asymptomatic, you know, maybe I have it, but I'm asymptomatic, but it came out negative. In this case, the code should be viral, so that people have told that this natural treatment can actually be focused on hair protection rather than vaccine. Yeah, I, I would, you know, much rather deal with a little <laughs> swelling <laughs> than deal with That's possible true. reactions otherwise. Next. There is this documentary on bee stings. I don't do it this aggressively. This is a little bit, might be a little scary to some people um, because ye kafi aggressively kar rahe hai. Lekin, um, I do it very gently where we start with one, okay, and then we wait like 40 minutes to make sure it's there, you don't have an allergic reaction. I have an EpiPen on hand in case anyone ever has an uh, allergic reaction, but the allergic reaction, bohat, bohat. Um, rare hota hai. just like uh, kisi so it's kind of like you know if someone has a peanut allergy or if someone has uh, uh, any allergy to wo phir saans band hone lagta hai a regular swelling and all that and itching is not considered an allergy theek hai so uh, i'd say 99.9% .9 of the people ko suit karega maybe there's a very small percentage of people who have allergies Huh. So like there was um, a lady I was learning from in the US, she's, she's been doing it for 30 years, she said she's never had one case of an allergy. So it's not rare. Okay, but at the same time, EpiPen should also be done. Are we starting from the beginning? Is this just loaded? Can bee stings cure arthritis or multiple sclerosis? Today in Taiwan, people from all walks of life are choosing to be stung by bees after dozens of time in one sitting. Xiu Rong Chen is battling multiple sclerosis, a disease which slowly causes body nerves to deteriorate. Six months she was bedridden and could not move. She had symptoms of tingling and numbness in her hands. There was excruciating pain. Then she heard about bee sting therapy. For help, she turned to Mr. Chen Yi Chen, bee sting therapy master, a trained master who had been practicing bee sting therapy for 12 years. Every week, Mr. Chen and his assistants treat 200 patients and sacrifice 6,000 honeybees. The results, which he says, are astounding. But can bee sting actually help Shu Rong fight multiple sclerosis? She began an intensive course of therapy, receiving over 200 stings a week for months on end. Honeybees only sting once and they die soon after, but even separated from the bee, the stinger continues to inject venom into its victim. The body responds with a flood of histamines and white blood cells, and soon the area becomes hot, red, swollen and itchy. Many think this therapy is based on the 5,000-year-old practice of acupuncture, a proven treatment for pain. Although today Mr. Chen sees bee acupuncture as a labor of love, even he once considered it a taboo. In fact, like most of us, he was afraid of bees. 30 years ago, Mr. Chen was an executive for a textile company when his wife suffered from arthritic pain, so severe she could not cook or even stand up straight. Western medicine didn't do much good. But when she told her husband that she wanted to get stung by bees, he thought the idea was ridiculous. But Mr. Chen suddenly changed his mind when he saw in his wife a sudden improvement. 
After three months, the red blood cells count increased. Her headache disappeared. Mr. Chen was so surprised that he decided to dive into this mysterious treatment and collect all the information that he could. He vowed to devote his life to bringing bee sting therapy to others. After six months of bee sting therapy, Xiu Rong Chen has seen a dramatic change. She insists that the therapy has relieved her multiple sclerosis and given her a new lease in life. While most Western trained doctors would likely say her illness is in remission, Xiu Rong is convinced that the stings have made her walk again. It will take years of study before we'll know that bee stings can relieve arthritis or multiple sclerosis or even a common cold. But whether Xiu Rong's recovery is in her head or her hands or her feet, for the first time in more than a year, she feels she can resume living. A therapy most of us would find taboo is allowing her to face the future with renewed health. Okay. Uh, these bees die after the huh, so the bees, uh, yeah, it is like a sacrifice. Um, the female The male does not have a stinger. So only the female. The male are not the defenders of the hive. They're not. The female has to do everything. Yes. Make the honey, lay, well, the uh -huh, everything. The like there's basically the male only is there for mating. That's it. And spring may. Uh, for collecting pollen. No. Bees nothing. Ha uh, queen. Uh, males and females go work in huh. and another really interesting thing is that males um, when a queen lays an egg and it's unfertilized so basically uh, the unfertilized egg turns into a drone so the the drone has only a mother no father okay. so that's also a really interesting thing and uh, the female uh, eggs are and always all uh, both chromosomes the the males and the females coming to them so uh, Have you seen the bee movie? yes it's terrible i couldn't see like i couldn't sit through it yeah the bee movie is terrible it's uh, doesn't represent the bees yeah, in any way huh one of the things like they talk about is like the beekeepers are harming the bees which is not true at all so um, huh. So the this particular bee with that we're talking about is the European bee. So all research is based on that. Hamara jo bees hain the badi makhi. The most of the deaths have happened by the badi makhi. So there was a I think a couple of years ago a Mali in uh, Punjab University that got stung by a giant uh, hive and died so yeah it's not as likely to die from this if the whole hive stings you but uh, with our our local bee it, it is but not the choti makhi choti makhi's bee, uh, sting hardly hurts <laughs> uh, so so mere, mere, uh, bees jo hai, wo boxes mein hai. So boxes mein sirf wo bees hoti hain jo European uh, genetically hain because uh, the Europeans have um, over time domesticated them. It's like having a wolf versus having a dog. I see. So these particular domesticated bees, you know, they'll they'll work with you. Like they they won't uh, like they don't come stinging me. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, they're usually very gentle and I can open a hive, I can look in, I can do whatever I need to. I can move them even around and... What about other people? Uh, they don't stink you but... No, no, the, even other people, if there's someone standing next to me, like uh, most of the time I don't wear my... I don't wear my veil anymore. Um, there was still fear when I was uh, early in my beekeeping career, I would wear a How veil. How long have you been in this situation? So, uh, now seven years. So, European bees, they are gentle. They are gentle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
but i think our choti uh, makhi is very gentle a choti makhi you can go really close up to it i've uh, and disturb it do lots of things before it bothers you uh sar badi makhi that's uh, yes. even i'm scared of No, there is no particular number. It depends on your size also. If it's a much larger person, ha immune. Ha, no. So, ye ye sting nahi kar rahi inko, theek hai? So, this uh, people like this can be considered a meditation right here that she is doing. Um, what's happening is, ha, it she is not being stung right now. So uh, what's happening like is that the wherever the queen goes the other bees follow automatically if i pick up the queen and i put her here sab uth ke yahan aa jayenge to um this i think they just did for like a uh, uh, king nahi hota to um what happens is ke they this is like people do this where they they put the queen in a little box and they wear her around the neck and the bees just follow and they end up on that person and maybe ek do teen char panch stings ho jayenge um but there's a the bees are not trying to sting at this point they're just trying to be with the queen uski size badi hoti hai bee ha the queen is slightly larger so um a lot of people you know try this and um I think it's cool. <laughs> But I, I'm not at the stage where I want to do it yet. Never been like this. I not yet. <laughs> Maybe in the future. But the, I have. Then these are not stinging. These are not stinging. Ye to inhone ek effect ke liye diya hai. Ha, scary effect ke liye diya hai. Isliye main aapko bol rahi thi ki you know this is like not what how I do it. This is not. A, uh, acha another cool thing is jin logon ko asthma hai. Um, the bee का जो हाइव के अंदर की हवा है ना वो भी हीलिंग है सो इन द वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड देर प्लेस सेंटर्स वे यू कैन गो एंड देर विल बी अ पाइप अटैच टू द हाइव एंड पीछे दे हैव अ जाली सो दैट यू नो नो बीज कम थ्रू इट बट यू जस्ट यू नो सिट देर एंड ब्रीद हाँ लाइक अ हुक्का एंड वो आस्तमा को भी वो काम डाउन कर देता है तो lots and lots of ways that bees are helping this you know nothing that they make is that's uh, unnecessary so hmm. ha the the bees are extremely extremely smart they're they recognize faces abhi recently a research aayi hai where they like okay they recognize faces i knew wasps recognize faces because ek dafa main ek wasp ko pipe se tang kar rahi thi and i wanted it to go away so i was throwing water on it and uh, the next day i came and i got stung on my foot and i was convinced it was that same wasp i was bothering so um, but yeah recently um, they've discovered that bees are very much uh, into facial recognition also and they can tell uh, i think ek zeros and um, the fact that they can even tell a zero apart like uh, that's a concept that's very uh, supposedly human so mathematically they are geniuses also so that was uh, pretty much the end of this short presentation but if you have questions I would be happy to answer them. So you know, basically, we've been uh, talking about the venom part of it. Yes. Uh, so, what about the others? The royal honey. Royal jelly. Royal jelly. हाँ, royal jelly का ये है कि royal jelly goes rancid and gets. Uh, you mix it with honey. No so you can mix it with honey, but um, it's still I. wouldn't exactly trust yeah i won't trust it unless you are getting um, royal jelly freeze dried from abroad and with freeze drying ke me process mein maybe something is getting damaged maybe it isn't but i would i would go for freeze dried royal jelly i won't go for actual royal jelly available somewhere because you can't tell when it's rancid and about the raw honey hmm. a drop of water in a raw honey would 
so honey is hydrophilic which means it absorbs moisture it absor absorbs water so what happens is when you put your honey in your chai and you're like oh i'm going to get these healing benefits from it it's uh, actually not going to happen that much because the honey works by surrounding the germs and sucking its moisture out and the germs die so if you have added moisture to it the honey is already saturated with moisture it cannot suck the moisture out of the germs so if you're doing it for sore throat Warm water, no. Warm so, like, if you're doing it for health benefits, then you should directly have the honey. If you're doing it, it's slightly like it's more healthy to have honey than sugar in your chai, then that's fine. But if you're doing it, if you have a sore throat and you're trying to get it better, yeah. So, milk has water in it, no. So, you can add dry ingredients like black pepper or. Um, yeah, so you can add dry ingredients to it, but you shouldn't add water and moisture. Ha, so sore throat ke liye aapko direct khana chahiye. Ha, the ek jo first beekeeping course maine kiya tha na, that lady who was teaching me, she said she'd been having one teaspoon as soon as she woke up every morning for the last five years, and she hadn't had a cold or a cough in the last five years. Ha. So yeah. Which honey would you recommend? Not Haan, so the local local Lahore ka honey layer is the best. Hai. Second best is making sure that obviously her honey ko raw na chahiye, unfiltered hona chahiye. Uh, but um, in the US they did many studies on the different honeys available in the uh, grocery stores. 90 plus percent of them didn't have pollen and were heat treated or something or the other. So, um, just say, for example, if you're buying Langanese, Langanese is just a bottler. They don't care in the end uh, like there's some checks and balances but in the end you know it's all a bunch of honey that they've collected, they mix it together, bottle it. And that's why langanese always tastes the same. This means and what you point? should not buy it. You shouldn't. So diabetics feel it's not that diabetes. effective, I would say that. Yeah, I wouldn't say. So uh, I saw this honey at Tayyab store that says diabetic or sugar free honey or something. And I looked at the ingredients, it's not real honey. It's got some honey mixed in it, but they've got some kind of a uh, uh, fake sugar hoti hai, wo mixture oh, yes. hai. I wouldn't recommend that for diabetics at all. I would recommend a lower glycemic honey. So there are honeys that are more sweet. It depends on the flower and there are honey that are less sweet. The less sweet ones would can be considered low glycemic and there is some research on diabetics having honey. So short term may there are insulin spikes but agar wo lete rahe, lete rahe, lete rahe, to unka ek overall sugar ka jo, uh, uh, level and wo niche thoda stable ho jata hai. So honey is, um, but obviously you don't want to just you know start having spoonfuls of honey if you're diabetic and you need to, in like do your uh, testing and stuff. One spoon is maybe a lot for uh, uh, just suddenly starting. Huh? Depends and also depends on the honey you're having. So like eucalyptus honey tends to be a lower glycemic. Cedar berry honey tends to be lower glycemic. So you need to search out the lower glycemic honeys for the uh, diabetic patients. And then maybe introduce very slowly, not even one teaspoon at a time. Mm -hmm. So you know, there is some local research done on berry honey. Um, I'm in my mind I think all honeys are uh, about the same like uh, but it depends on the flower ki uska kya benefit it obviously ke aap, for example eucalyptus honey jo hai, eucalyptus you're using in wicks and phlegm removing and those kind of things so when you eat eucalyptus ka honey khayenge, 
तो दोज आर द बेनिफिट्स दैट यू विल गेट ऑल्सो यू नो यू विल गेट के ओके आपका फ्लेम उखड़ेगा आपका यूक्लेप्टस हनी इज़ एक्चुअली वन ऑफ द बेटर हनीज टू हैव आफ्टर हैविंग कोविड और ड्यूरिंग कोविड बिकॉज आपका वो लंग स्ट्रेंथ दे रहा है बट एट द सेम टाइम इफ यू आर गोइंग फर्स्ट आई यू हैव पॉलन एलर्जीज एवरी ईयर यू वॉन्ट टू हैव द लोकल हनी इट डजेंट मैटर कि वो कौन से फूल पे क्या है सिदर का आई थिंक इट्स पॉपुलरिटी इज मोर टू डू बिकॉज आई थिंक Oh no I I personally don't like the taste I think there's a religious connotation there's some they say there's a mention of the sidr tree in the one of the hadiths which I haven't come across yet so there is a religious thing with sidr so um mujhe lekin mere wo confirmed mere wo nahi hai ki kaun si wo hadith hai whether it's a correct hadith or not um lekin um sidr हाँ सा हाँ लेकिन आई थिंक वो कोई दरख्त मैंशन है बेरी का कहीं फॉर श्योर आई डोंट नो हाँ सो बीज वैक्स में लाइक जिन लोगों को ऐसा माए सब क्लीन बर्निंग कैंडल अगर आप कैंडल बना रहे हैं मैं ऑइनमेंट्स बना रही हूँ फॉर एग्जामा सोराइस एंड दिस एलोपीशिया वो जो लिटल बॉल्ड स्पॉट्स हैं उसमें मैं बीज वैक्स डाल रही हूँ बीज वैक्स इज़ वेरी सूदिंग फॉर द स्किन अब फॉर एग्ज़ाम्पल अगर लॉट ऑफ पीपल यूज़ वैजिलीन बट दे डोंट नो इट्स लाइक अ पेट्रोलियम बाई प्रोडक्ट दैट हेंस द पेट्रोलियम जेली एंड अगर आप वो अपनी स्किन पर लगाते हैं इट मेक्स अ कोटिंग दैट ऑक्सीजन उस एरिया को पहुँच नहीं सक ऑक्सीजन नहीं पहुँच रही मॉइस्चर के लिए करते हैं कि वो जैसे मॉइस्चराइज हो रहा है वो एक्चुअली मॉइस्चराइज नहीं हो रहा वो आपकी जो स्किन है वो आप डिप्राइव हो रही है ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड ऑक्सीजन इज लाइक वन ऑफ द थिंग हाँ ब्लॉक हाँ सो पेट्रोलियम अगर आप पेट्रोलियम जेली को गूगल करेंगे एंड वाई इट्स बैड फॉर यू यू विल सी दैट इट्स एक्चुअली टेरेबल एंड यू कैन सब्सटीट्यूट बीज वैक्स की ऑइनमेंट्स फॉर दैट Okay. But when it came to me, probably because of the heat, was it was in a sort of a semi-liquid state. So that is genuine. Or these wax has to be solid. These wax usually solid. होती है. अ उसमें कुछ mix हुआ होगा. Mix हुआ. या उसको साफ करने की कोशिश की थी या कुछ add हुआ एक at some point. These wax is just solid. Like you know, like a wax. हाँ, it's like a. If you press it, you, you, it, it can't bend. Moom. Like, ha, moom hoti hai. Like, like if you take a candle right now and you try and press it, usi tarah hoga. Um, I've heard that some people are allergic to honey. Also, is that true? So they could be allergic to the pollen in the honey. Uh, they could be allergic to the honey. Um, it's possible. And what, uh, what vitamins and minerals does स्पेसिफिक uh, तो मुझे गूगल करना पड़ेगा लेकिन आई थिंक लॉट ऑफ द मिनरल्स इन थिंग्स डिपेंड ऑन द फ्लावर्स आल्सो सो थिंग्स चेंज अ लिटिल बिट बट यार द एग्जैक्ट वाइटमिन मिनरल कंटेंट वो तो एंड आई आई एम नॉट एग्जैक्टली लाइक द वाइटमिन मिनरल कंटेंट इज़ नॉट व्हाट यू आर रियली गोइंग फॉर वट यू वट हैपन्स इज वन द द बीज टेक इन द नेक्टर ठीक है वो दे पास इट ऑन टू द अदर बी एंड द बी अदर बी पास इट ऑन टू द अदर वन इट गोज थ्रू द स्टमक्स ठीक है द सेकेंड स्टमक्स दैट आर नॉट डाइजेस्टिव वाले बट उनके अंदर एनजाइम्स और चीज़ें करके देर इज़ एन एक्चुअल केमिकल प्रोसेस दैट हैपन्स एंड दैट चेंजेस फ्राम नेक्टर टू हंड्रेड और फिर वो वन दैट्स रेडी दे पोट इट इन ईच ऑफ द सेल्स एंड वो फिर सेल्स में उसको फिर टाइम लगता है uh, उसका मॉइस्चर नीड्स टू बी अवेपोरेटेड सो द बीज कैन फ्लैप दर विंग्स उसको उसका मॉइस्चर निकालती हैं और वो जब हनी रेडी हो जाता है उसको कैपिंग कर देते हैं अलॉट ऑफ टाइम्स मैंने यहाँ सील हो जाता है हाँ बिल्कुल हाँ सील एंड मैंने यहाँ बहुत दफ़ा देखा है कि जो लोकल बी कीपर्स हैं ना वो वेट नहीं करते कि सील हो जाए उनको है कि जल्दी जल्दी यू नो दे नीड टू गेट दर हनी आउट एंड सो सीलिंग का फ़ायदा वो हाँ उसमें मॉइस्चर कंटेंट ख़त्म हो चुका होता है जो लाइक इट्स द द एग्जैक्ट वे इट शुड बी वाला सीन है जब मॉइस्चर अगर हो 
तो उसके अंदर मोल्ड ऑल दीज अदर थिंग्स कैन हैपन दैट्स वाई यू नेवर पुट अ वेट स्पून इन योर हनी नेवर पुट अ वेट स्पून इन योर हनी या सो यू डोंट एड मॉइस्चर so these home tests are like uh, they don't really tell you anything um just say agar jaise powder form mein aaye to then it's real honey otherwise it's something is how do you recognize i i can't i have to send it for testing or testing bhi aisi cheez hai ki agar aap testing ke liye bhej rahe hai na so they're testing like this ke isme sugar syrup to nahi hai isme wheat syrup to nahi hai isme aur jo jaise actual like professional फेक हनी मेकर्स हैं वो क्या करते हैं कि वो देखते हैं आजकल क्या टेस्ट चल रहे हैं ओके सो इफ देव कवर्ड ऑल द टेस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट सिरप्स मे बी देल फाइंड अ डिफरेंट अदर सिरप जिसका अभी टेस्ट नहीं हो रहा एंड देल स्टार्ट एडिंग दैट सो दिस एक्चुअली अ लॉट मोर फेक हनी इन द मार्केट दैन रियल हनी बिकॉज एक अंदाजन सबको पता है कि इतने बी हाइव और बॉक्सेज होते हैं और इतना हनी रियल प्रोडक्शन है उससे कहीं ज़्यादा फेक हनी इज़ ऑन द मार्केट एज एज रियल हनी एंड दर इज़ रियली नो वे टू टेल बिकॉज हर हनी का कलर फ़र्क है हर हनी का टेक्स्चर फ़र्क है एंड ये जो आम तौर पर लोग कहते हैं ओ हो ये जम गया ये हनी नहीं है दैट्स दैट्स नॉट ट्रू एट ऑल रियल हनी डज क्रिस्टलाइज so it's a matter of chaos if there's more pollen in the honey which is also dependent on the flower then wo bhi uh, crystallize jaldi karega usko agar aap fridge mein rakh denge ek 52 degrees fahrenheit ke under wo wo bhi crystallize hona shuru ho jata hai kuch honey crystallize into very tiny crystals aur kuch crystals bade chunky hote hain um, so it really depends on the flower that the bees have been going to and abhi हाँ तो फूलों पे फूल हाँ आई हैव अ फार्म ऑन बर्की रोड सो और जो एचिसन की बीज हैं वो तो उनके उनके तो